Hello, everybody. It's Scott Omato and the ugliest grandma I've ever seen. Holy mackerel. All right, so here we are in the dark village, and I'm just going to take over this library. There's no uh, blacksmith, nor that many large buildings. Um, so I'm not going to... Those villagers are crazy looking. So... We've got some food and farms, and anyway, I'll just be able to get set up here a little bit to kind of organize, lay down a chest, set up a stomp spawn point, um, and then we'll see if we've got enough wool to at least probably just leave this one bed that I have, and then let that be the spawn point. So this is the library. Yeah, this this pack is kind of ornate and interesting. So I'm just going to take these, Not take them, but put down the bed right there. It'll be fine for now. And if I can set a spawn point, I do have the sleeping bag mod. Um, I'm going to turn down the sounds on these guys just for a moment. And we just need to put down a chest, obviously. There's usually a craft me on right there. Okay, so let's get some wood planks. Yeah. And just get a couple chests and then just try to make some sense of all the stuff that we got going on here. Um Yeah, they don't need any of this. And I do. Oops. Sorry, I didn't set the spawn. I don't let it despawn, though. I do. All right, I have an axe in my other hand. Lost my sword. Seeds keep following me everywhere. Um, here is skeleton. So let's see. Let me just get rid of all this. Okay, you can see this is all uh, dark wood is what it is. Dark lands, oak wood planks. Shut up, guys. And this is dark stone cobblestone. So this is all abyssal craft stuff. Need to get that bed. Let's see, so my chests were right here. Just clear everything out. So I can make some sense of what's going on here. Keep the boat. Keep the pork chops. Okay. You'd think that the, one of their only goals in life is to work a door. And they can't freaking work a door right. That's crazy. Okay, so we got torches. Yeah, this bed I am going to lay down. I wish I could set my spawn here now but that's stupid um okay so let's see what else we got that we need here's all the wool so we've got 63 wool so let's go ahead and try to make these we need sticks get the planks go ahead and make a stack of sticks And try to get all these guys made. I think we needed 20. Okay, so we can do 15. So I need to go and shear those, the rest of those sheep. So that gets us the first one. And then you just want to go ahead and go all the way up as you can from the small one to the large one. Because if you lay down these... Uh, it goes into like a void dimension. All right, so I need three more. So I need four. I need 12 more wool. Um, let me go ahead and make a 
Another sword. Need to get more cobble. Is there anything else I need to carry? I can pick. What, what is it? Oh, that's the wood one. Alright, so tallow is for candles. Yeah. Take a crafting table, I guess. There's a portable. Let's see what that is. Crap. This guy. An apple. An iron. Book and a quill. Go ahead and take all these books. I'm going to need books anyway for the Necronomicon. Let's go ahead and take them. So I need an ink sack. Let me, all right, let me go ahead and just make the cobbles sword. And we'll go try to get the rest of our wool real quick and then that'll be a house well it basically built the house so actually guys i'm going to go ahead and um yeah here it is so i need an axe to use to yeah i'm going to go ahead guys and get the sh the rest of the wool and I'll be right back with you. All right, guys, I'm back. So here in this abyssal craft structure, this is another one. So this is another one of the statues, the Narla Hotep statue. Uh, and see, this is monolith stone pillar. And then this is a Shagoth ooze, which I don't think they spawn from this. Um, and see, then these are some of the different blocks. Now, these blocks... Over here, give off light, and they're actually kind of expensive. They require a diamond to make, but this is the actual altar that you can convert with a wand. Like if I click that with the wand, it'll convert into the altar. So we already have some of that stuff available, um, but in the version I played last year, it didn't put those statues there. So we've got at least two of them. Usually, you need to have the Shagas build. Um, monoliths and then you farm them from that and I'm sure we'll still do that I haven't seen a Shagoth layer yet um, I know for anybody new to Abyssalcraft you have no idea what I'm talking about but we'll we'll get into it soon enough so anyway this is the, the village that shows you some of the wood and then this is um, Darklands grass it doesn't appear that the sheep eat it so they're not really regenerating their wool, unfortunately. Uh, which this looks like a pretty good hunting place. To, you know, hunt mobs. But we're trying to get drops from some of the Abyssal Craft mods, mobs as well. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and make the, um, the item that we need to complete the the tent essentially i did get more wool found a few more sheep and see then this is the darklands oak wood so these are the trees and there's forests that are made out of it um so we got a church here oh there's a blacksmith i didn't see that okay cool yeah, i didn't actually see that at first uh this door looks cool yeah look at that and the chest and stuff. So yeah, it's a dark pack. But basically, we need to go ahead and make... Oh, we need what? Uh, I think we just need two more, actually. So, let's see. A tent. And then we wanted the Bedouin wall section. Yeah, so I just think we need... We've got this level, the medium Bedouin. There's, it takes five, so we just need two of these. Okay, so that should do it for that. Um, 
No, I do need one more. So I got just enough. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, so let's get this made and laid down. So, okay, now we also need the hammer thing, which until we get this super tent mallet, it's kind of a pain in, in the rear. But the super mallet, um, actually, we can't even make that yet because we need more iron. Tent canvas, we need two more wool. Jeez, I think I've got it, though. Don't I? Yeah. Okay, so there's the tent canvas, and we need two iron to make that. Okay, it's night, so we'll just go ahead and sleep for now. Uh, probably need to be out trying to get some string still. How much string do I have? Eight. So we're not in terrible shape. Um, Another thing is incredibly easy to hit villagers. Yeah, with these weapons, it's incredibly easy. Let's go up to that uh, blacksmith. Let's see what we got in there. Is anything good? Hello, hello, hello. Give me your stuff. Okay, I think there's a Bizzle Knight chest plate. Oh, yeah, buddy. That's good. That's better. And there's our two iron ingots. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, this thing's better than diamond. Plus eight. Um, yeah. Nice find right there. Let's see, so the diamond helmet. The diamond chest plate's plus eight, so it's the same, really. A little bit less toughness, but I'll take it, man. Yeah, we're that was good. So we got our books. This village is kind of messed up. Not horrible, though. I've seen much, much worse. Okay, so let's go ahead then and make our tent mallet. And as I said, it's kind of a pain to deal with with this early level so we need to get let me make this guy first okay there's the tent mallet and now we're going to need two blocks of gold so 18 gold to make this guy and then that's that's what we really want but we can work with this for now it's just kind of tedious, but I'll show you how this mod works. Okay, so let's let's go up here. Like a pretty good spot up here. Yeah. Let's just try like right here. Okay, so you lay that down. And then that's the frame for it, right? So then you got to go through with this mallet, which I got an ender pearl, by the way. Right, killing enderman's not too hard. I just got to go through and do this for every one of these blocks. So yeah, it looks like you hit it three times for every block. It's, I mean, you can, you know, the idea is that this thing's portable. And so that's not very good. So you're going to have to invest in your gold. Oh. So that can happen. I see. So they come out a little ways. I got to do it on top too. How do I get up? Okay, let me uh, see what I got to do here. Yeah, you definitely would not want to do this every time you had to set up this tent. Yeah, 
Now, it's bad enough that you have to do that, but you have to hit it three times for each one. So it may take almost as much as setting up a real world tent. I think that's it. Yeah. Okay, so there's your Bedouin tent. Okay, and so it's an interdimensional thing. Hope that didn't matter that I put that block out there. So, all right, so here's our tent. It's a, uh, oh, three, four, five, six, seven by nine or something now it's seven by seven okay so it could use a little light Put some light in here and you can see from the map that we're in the void yeah so we're just in the void area in a chunk so if we made more tents they would kind of go around here in a chunk and we really can't get to them or we could journey map you know cheaty journey map out of here but so anything you put in here you put a furnace you put your uh, work tables and your storage systems you know even a bed I think you could sleep in there and that's your portable living quarters basically so everything you put in here, you have access to. Now, if you have had it built the small one and laid it down, you'd see it in the map, number one. It would be like out here somewhere. Um, and then you'd have to disassemble it, remove the stuff from it because it's really a separate item, and then do the next tent up. And then, same deal, if you put anything in it, you have to tear it about, take it out, because you'll lose it if you use it in crafting. And then make the large tent. Um, so that's why we just go for the large tent as quick as we can. And you saw that it took quite a bit of wool, but we got it done. So there's our tent there, and then we could just pick up this guy, like so... But see, every time we lay it down, we're going to have to go through that hammering crap again. And I don't actually think we can pick it up without first assembling it. So if you lay it down, you got to go through all this. Now the gold hammer deal, you don't have to, you don't have to do any of that. It 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 lays it down. You just have to hammer one block. So it's definitely a lot better. But we just have to get in the ground and get some gold. Shouldn't be too bad. 18 gold's not that many. Okay, so I can actually go inside of this. So it's not horrible, but you see it's time consuming. And, and like I said, I'm not even going to use it right now. I just laid it down just to show you. And then I have to go through all this to even pick it back up. I think. Pretty sure. If you know different, then tell me in the comments. Okay. Now I should be able to pick it up. Yeah. And so then there's our house, basically, that we'll put our stuff in and we'll just travel around. And no matter what dimension we're in, um, we're in good shape. We, we got all our stuff with us. So that makes us truly nomadic, which is pretty darn nice. Let's see, so we got a church. I don't know if I went in here. Um, so this brick is interesting. I mean, it reminds me a bit of Thumbcraft in the field, but any kind of magic mod, you know, Thumbcraft so defined a style in uh, Minecraft. I'm going to fix these guys. Uh, I must have the dirt in the thing. Oh, that's right. I'll do some planks. There you go, Grandma. Or you're a grandpa. Can't tell. I'm going to say grandpa. Because 
I have not seen any female villagers that I recall, except for in Minecraft Comes Alive. Um, so yeah, we're just here temporarily. It's a good place to set my spawn. Yeah, but I destroy all the crops, I believe, when I do that. Yeah. Okay. I haven't seen any farmers yet. I haven't seen them farming. So, all right, guys. So let's look at now the next thing is either this. We need some leather because we want to make the glider. I haven't seen any cows yet except the one that tried to kill us. So we need quite a bit of leather. What's that? Six leather. Twelve leather. Let's see if there's anything in this pack that I can make leather from. Rabbit hide. I can smell the, that was a thing from the 1.11 coming down and I can dry... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. I can dry. Cooked rabbit. Yeah, I get dry meats, basically. Probably not worth it. Um, mutton, I've only got two. I may have more in the, the house. So I believe I set my spawn point, but I'm going to go ahead and just sleep this night to be sure I set the spawn point um, because that would be decent. And then I need to try to get a little bit more wool, but we're going to go ahead and just travel on. We got what we needed. Um, those statues and stuff we'll come back to, I'm sure. Um, we're not ready for any of the the Shagoth battles right now. Let's see. I was going to see how much mutton I had. 17. Yeah, you know, I could just cook the mutton. And dry it. Because I don't care about that mutton. Just don't have hardly any cobble. I do have a furnace, though, right? Yeah. Here. See, the apple we needed for um, some kind of crafting. So, yeah, let's go ahead and cook these guys. Coal. And how many leather did I say I needed? Twelve. Sorry, I'll just go ahead and uh, cook them in. Okay, so I got more slime balls, more of this, more raw pork chops. And then the secret sauce stuff. That's for the taco. Iron horse armor. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and make that. I uh, don't think we're quite done with the episode yet. I think we'll go ahead and uh, um, look at the yo-yo. I got enough string now, I'm sure. that That's the one that took a lot of string. It took eight. I think I have eight. Yeah. Now, can I just upgrade them? No. So there's kind of no reason to make a stone one duration 10 seconds. See, you you shoot it out, and then that duration is how long it's going to stay out. So 15 seconds. So it's better to you get one block going from diamond, but you get five seconds. But then this shearing one, at least in creative, was acted really different. See, its duration is 15 seconds. Its length is 8 blocks. So the same as diamond, just 5 seconds less. It's the same as iron. But you can also shear with it. 
So we're better to go to the iron. Yeah. Yeah, we're better to go just straight to the iron. So there's there's the 12 cooked mutton. Let's make a drying rack. Slabs. Yeah, let's just make some slabs. Let's make um, like three drying racks. That, that would be four. We can actually put those in our tent if we wanted to. Yeah, let's put them in the tent. I, I don't know if they'll tick, though. Until we get a chunk loader, I don't think they'll tick. You know, once we're out of its range. Oh, we need the cook. I needed 12. I don't know if I want to wait that out. Just continue to make them. I think I'm just going to go ahead and make the rest of them. And get more wood. Let's see what that'll do. Yeah, I think I'd just rather go ahead and make them because they take quite a while to process. So that's four more. Uh, we won't be drying any more after this, unfortunately, but. Right. Yeah. And I'll save some time. Because it takes a little bit of time anyway. So basically, um, I'm going to go ahead and call it for this episode, guys. Even if it is a shorter one. And, uh, you know, we'll, we're just picking up from here. We got our tent made. That's a big thing. So that's basically our traveling house. And we uh, got an abyssal night chest plate. That's, that's freaking nice, man. Because these ingots are not so easy to come across. You have to mine them. And, you know, they're pretty rare. Uh, at least, they're more rare than diamond, I believe. So, we got lucky on that one to get the chest plate. And it's, it's good protection. So, anyway, and it's purple. So, I'm kind of matching my style. And these guys with the doors are crazy. They need to stop. Anyway, this is Scott Omato. Should have made purple slime books, but purple slime is kind of hard to come across, but maybe we will. And that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you're enjoying it, guys. We're going to get crazy and uh, do some uh, rituals and stuff coming up pretty soon. So take care. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.